Are you ready? Welcome, yep. everybody, to another week of teen events. Uh, and we're going to jump right into our Kahoot. Uh... Are you ready? <laughs> I'm getting feedback here. Sorry, I'm on a loop. Um, yeah, we're jumping right into our uh, first game. Suhani is going to be leading our Kahoot quiz for us. So um, if you have a browser or want to open a new window on your phone to go to kahoot.it. Hey, Brad, in. if I click out of the meeting and go to Kahoot, will it end the meeting? Um, I think it, if you close Zoom, I think it will. But if you just kind of swipe up and into a different, um, into, into your like web browser app, it should just mute your video. Okay. But I think you'll, I think we'll still be able to hear you and you'll be able to hear us, but uh, okay. you won't be able to see us and we won't be able to see you, but that's okay because we're playing Kahoot and that's all we're going to see anyhow. I'm going to put my rapper name in for my. <laughs> <laughs> I highly, I highly encourage, uh, I highly encourage. Nicknames in all of your games, and uh, you can even Isn't use them Bubble here. Bubble Guppies copyrighted. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm sure there's a copyright, but for our purposes here, we are not uh, connected to. Oh, I mean, his if that's his rapper name, he might run into some issues with. Oh, I thought his rapper name was Isabella. No, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> That's a, You'll see it here in a second. Isabella's in the meeting. So. 74. You could just re-spell bubble guppies because you can't like bubble and guppies. What's the bubble paper? Copies. 784. Blobble goopies. How about that? Ew. Boobble gloppies. Brad, I need the pin. Uh, it's 784. Oh, there you go. 8302. Okay, I'm in. That means... Wait, does that mean your bubble? No, Olivia, Anamika, Isabel, me. Who is Bubble Guppy? Is that... Oh, Suhani. <laughs> is everyone in? Very nice. Learn. I believe everyone is in. Okay, shall we start? Yeah, let's do it. Cool. Okay. Everyone try to beat Brad. <laughs> World geography, famous landmarks. I don't um, think you can be. The man-made structures known as the seven wonders of the ancient world, which one remains? I had it like that, whoever is there. Uh, thinking about it. The pyramids of Giza. Good, good, good. Those are the pyramids like in Egypt, you know, Giza, Egypt. You guys know that, right? No. In what city can you find the ancient pyramids of the top of the I, Rome, Italy could be a little confusing. Yeah. But but it, it's Greece, for sure. What landmark was the home of emperors for many centuries? Where in the world? Do you guys ever play Carmen Sandiego when you were kids? Do you know who Carmen Sandiego is? No. Vaguely. No? Wow. Because it was like my generation and the next generation. Or I mean, and then, I mean, I guess you're officially the generation after me. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. In between. None of us are like 50, Brad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Where can you find Stonehenge, a circular monument of massive stones? Ooh. Ooh. I think I know this one. was in the news recently they found like outside of the of stonehenge 
underneath the earth, they found kind of this other huge circle with all these, I don't know, like, anyway, this odd circle of other divots around Stonehenge. What events were held in the Colosseum of Rome? All of that. Right. Is know that naval battles they used to flood it, like fill it with water and have little boats going around and can you imagine that in like a huge football stadium nowadays? That'd be cool. Are we doing raffles this year, Brad? Um not currently. What landmark is a mausoleum or burial place of a ruler's wife? All right. Where's our count? That was six of ten. Okay, so we're past the halfway mark. Let's see where we're at in the in the runnings here. Oh, okay. I missed like I He's missed like five. Points. Anna Meek is on fire though. That's I like that. <laughs> Got a streak. Where can you find the Little Mermaid statue based on the tales of Hans Christian Andersen? <laughs> Copenhagen, Denmark. There's six I missed. Out of what seven. nation gave the Statue of Liberty to the United ooh, States? Ooh. I know this. I do too, Brad. I just did some history, uh, history learning on the statue. I'm still 3,000 points behind Bubble Guppies. Anamika and Olivia are hot on my on my heels. <laughs> what landmark was built for the 1889 Centennial, oh, Centennial, Centennial Exposition in Paris, France? Is that a picture of it even? In the bottom looking up? The Eiffel Tower. Okay, one more. Y'all have one more chance. Let's see. Everybody. Unless I can get 10,000 points on this question, I'm not going to get first. What oh, my goodness. Is Elizabeth II open in October 1973? 73. Three. Three. I missed nine out of ten oh. questions. No. I had to guess at that one. I got it right there. Good job, Olivia. Good job. Very nice. Nice work, Anamika. You did excellently. Good game. That was fun. I missed nine of the questions. Maybe when you're almost 50. Or what did you say? Close to 50. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much, Suhani, for uh, leading that and taking us on that little journey around the world to kick things off. Um, I let's see, we're a couple of uh, a couple of just things to remind. Are who who all is working on their summer reading program logs? Anyone? Anyone? No. No. You're reading. Honestly, I gotta admit, I, I will confess, I have been reading more like a lot, but. I have not been doing my log either. So um, you can download reading logs from the website, wilsonvillelibrary.org, and you can also um, you can also get uh, the Beanstack app. You can use that on your computer uh, or your mobile devices. So can the library ship of out books. any of the reading logs? Can we what? Can you guys ship out any of the reading logs? We don't, we aren't, we aren't able to mail them out right now. Um, but that is why we made them available online so that one could print them at home. Um, okay. Honestly, if you want to just make your own on a blank piece of paper this year, we will totally take it. Just mark off one day for 20 days and you can turn it in. Some of you might be like hearing that and be going, oh, I'm going to totally get creative and I'm totally going to like draw my own, draw my own, uh, 
uh, reading log from home and it's going to be super creative. And I'm like, cool, that'd be amazing. I will like post it on my wall for the year and keep it as a mem as memorabilia. So um, that'd be awesome. Go for it. Um, couple of books we want to share now. Um, who wants to go for Olivia, do you want to go first? Mm -hmm. um, okay. I've been reading, still reading, um, The Nordic Theory of Everything by some author I can't pronounce. Um, and I have I believe a, a copy of it right here for you all to see, The Nordic Theory of Everything. You can check this out from the library so you can all read along at home too. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt Olivia. Go right ahead. Um, I believe she's from Finland and she talks about Europe and more specifically Nordic countries. So like Norway and Sweden and Denmark and um, like their like their social security and welfare and how it compares to America and how it all ties into what they call um, the Nordic theory of love, which is kind of like deeply centered around independence of the individual. So it's why like in Finland, for example, spouses are taxed um, individually. Mm -hmm. So it's everything is kind of like centered around building that independence of the individual um, inequality. So no matter where you are from, or who your parents are, you will always have some social mobility and equal opportunity. So it's pretty interesting. Um, I like it because I like Denmark and that sort of thing. So. Because <laughs> you like Hans Christian Andersen and The Little Mermaid, is that why? <laughs> uh, I still need to read those. Um, my <laughs> uncle. <laughs> gave everyone in the family copies of those tales because like we're part Danish so okay. I need to read them but it's a good book awesome. it makes you want to cool. move to Europe well and I, I would say uh, like I'm super interested in the book you're mentioning because I have been doing some reading lately about um uh, economies, economics, and um, different ways they're going they go about them, and it's very interesting. And 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 capitalism in America, and um, how tied it is to this rugged individualism that we have, and how um, so it's very interesting for me to hear that that's their focus too is individualism because I wouldn't think that based on kind of the other things you mentioned. So fascinating. I'll have to put it on my list. Hope you guys will too. Hey Brad, um, so, I got a surprise. Uh, yes, for you. Gage, you what what surprise do you have for me? It's toward the end. I'll tell you whenever <laughs> we're almost done. Okay. Um, I am going to show you a book real quick as well. These are just a really timely read, a really fun read, and I actually so I actually listen to this on audiobook, but you can get the EPUB as well um, by logging into. Uh, cloud library so you can get the book for free uh mobile anywhere i'm going to share a portion of my screen and i'll try and fix it a little bit um so this is the book it's called stamped um racism anti-racism and you it's kind of a re um working of uh it's a, like a remix version they call it of um kind of i think what's a, in a longer version originally written by uh Ibrahim X. Kendi, and uh, this one is rewritten and retold by Jason Reynolds, who's another famous author and done a lot of great stuff. So, um, And it is a quick and interesting history um, of sort of different parts of the Black experience in America that, um, like little pieces and parts that are hev like heavily influenced things, but you maybe didn't think about or know how or why and just kind of some very interesting characters along the way um and it doesn't like it starts out in the beginning being specific about like this isn't a history book but it's very interesting like it walks through all these parts and pieces of history uh in a really interesting uh in a really interesting way so i totally recommend that one if you guys get a chance so okay so uh announcements some book recommendations for the week we'll be back with more of those um 
and we will go ahead and dive into some reading writing uh, stuff. So Olivia, do you want to share, uh, do you have writing prompt stuff you want to talk about? Mm -hmm. um, as we've done every week um, for the teen summer reading program, we will introduce another reading prompt, or sorry, writing prompt, and writing a prompt. form what did I say? for you to submit um, an answer to the prompt to. Um, usually at this point, we would announce kind of like our favorites from last week, but we didn't receive any responses. So I will send the link. And it was a little more challenging this last week. We had, uh, it was working with a partner to create a short story. So it, it was challenging. So I'm gonna go ahead and you've sent us that link. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up in my browser so I can show people what that is. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, this week's prompt is travel themed and you will write one paragraph story uh, set in a place that you want to travel to or just any place really like a cool country travel destination so zoom right in i'm just playing with this so there you go the bottom part of going to the chat to vote it's saying it's disabled yes we don't have this is not in this is just in the chat as a link to get to this website okay so anybody and will be able to get to the website. We will upload, I will upload the link to the website um, to YouTube in the comments uh, or in the description, as well as it'll be on the website um, for the Teen Summer Reading Program on the wilsonvillelibrary.org website. So you can go to wilsonvillelibrary.org and then uh, the Teen Summer Reading Program stuff. And our writing prompts each week are are there so people can go back and click on them. So if you've missed one one week, you could even go back and do the others um, from previous weeks. If you're like, I like writing and I'm excited about doing this. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. Thank um, you, Olivia, for. Oh, go, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we're gonna play word race. Oh <gasps> yes. Okay. I'm I'm way more excited about this than I probably should be. <laughs> All right, I sent a so, link in chat to join again. Um, all okay. you need is like a browser tab or a okay. second device if you're on mobile. Okay. Right. So I opened um, it in my browser tab. Did you do screen share last time for this or did I? Um, I don't know, but I can screen. I don't really it. want to share my screen because then it shows how like bad I am at it. <laughs> but <laughs> but I'm happy to, and people can just uh, watch, and I'll I'll show them examples, but I'll purposely not win. <laughs> so there we go. Is that? Uh, I won't let me put my name in. Is it working? Mine's saying nickname may only contain alphabetical so. letters, and I'm just putting engage. That's interesting. Okay, it's working now. Okay. Mine has a hyphen in it, but. Okay, so yes, your your screen is sharing, Olivia. So we see that in the. We see that in the meeting. All right. Um, I think everyone is on. Yep, I'm in. Yeah. Do you want to do? Do you want to do a quick description of what's going to happen, just in case people weren't here or haven't seen this before? Yeah. Um. So it's basically like a word find game, um, except multiplayer, and you're kind of racing to find the words. So you click and kind of drag the letters. Um, so like your typical word. Brad. <laughs> no, you guys can do it. So uh, it's basically like a word search, but you don't have to go straight. You can go in. They just have to be connected. Wow, oh, you quick. guys are fast. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow.
My goodness. Okay. I'm very bad. <laughs> I'm not even doing that good. I haven't found one. Uh, yeah, and they have to be at least three letters connected. Oh, okay. Next round's going to go in five seconds. So currently we have Anamika leading. I'm in second place. Suhani's in third. Isabel in fourth. Here we go. Next round. I can't select anything. So click and then drag. Are you, you might be on with your fingers on a phone. I don't know how that works. I'm guessing, That's you, tap and then, I'm guessing you tap and then slide across the letters. All it does is just beep. Hmm. I haven't, I haven't used that format yet, so I can't, unfortunately I can't tell you. We'll have to test it in the team meeting, at the tab meeting the next time. No! I was about to get a word. Okay, five more seconds into round, final round. Anamika still leading. Me in second, Suhani in third, Isabel fourth. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Jeez, Olivia's getting them fast. I'm Somebody just clicking is. and dragging. Oh, I think that's Anamika that's getting them. Uh, okay, I see no more words. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, anyway, oh, somebody else found one. <laughs> nice work. Final scores, Anamika. Take a very uh, large lead. Congratulations, Anamika. Very nice work. Very nice work. Very impressed with that. So, thank you. thank you, Olivia, once again for taking us through. Did you call it word rice? Race. As in race. Word <laughs> race. I like it. Word race. Word race. race. Oh, I keep hearing R's. it. No, it's not the R. It's the I. The I. Or a race. Rice. Race. Race. I. I'm just not good at speaking. It's blame Zoom. It's all Zoom's fault. And I kept I calling know. it rice because it's like a white background with round thing. I was like, okay, little one individual letters like all over. It must be right. race, word race. That makes so much more sense. And I Fair guess the letters are all kind of scrambled together. Ex exactly. Like in, a, like in a pot of rice or a mm. pan or whatever one cooks rice in. A rice cooker? Instant pot? Instant pot. <laughs> okay. I think we're on to our next game. It is some Jackbox game time, I believe. Yes? Yes? What are oh, we going to do okay. Jackbox today? Unless you want to jump into the escape room, we can save that. And if you guys want to do Jackbox after, we can do that after. Whatever um, you prefer. I would do Jackbox, but the computer that has Jackbox on is in the living room, which is very oh, noisy. So. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I misunderstood or I missed that part of the conversation we were doing setup. So um, let's see. Do I? Do I'm going to see if I have it here. I can't turn on my video. Oh, sorry. I muted your video because all we were doing was staring at your ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. 
Are you are you are you back and you're gonna join us? Yeah. Where is your ask to start video? There you go. There we go. Hey, there's the actual man, myth, and legend. All right. Well, give me just one sec and I'll see if I can bring up our Jackbox games. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll just start up lights. Are you are you getting your your party lights going? You're gonna show us your party lights. Studio lights. You look like you're in an, an abandoned warehouse. No. I'm set. Okay. The play control on this. <laughs> is challenging. Okay, I Catch have the game. Longini. Library. Uh, then. Oh, Brad, the surprise was I was going to feature you in my song that I'm making. Oh, really? Yeah, I was going to feature you in it. Feature. I'm a little scared what that might mean in one of your songs. No, it just means I'm like putting you in the lyrics. Why does that not make me feel any safer? <laughs> Brad, you'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I can't wait. Do you have a style you're going for? I'm almost ready here. I have a few lyrics that I put in. Do you play any instruments, Scooch? No. All right, everybody. We have Jackbox Party Game number four up. So I'm going to get us rolling here. We want to do um, Fibbage. Let's do Fibbage again. That was pretty cool last week. Yes? Yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK. Those of you who are muted, if you want to unmute, you're highly encouraged to. Uh, Are we starting the escape room? Talk along. No, we're doing. Um, oh, hey, Catalina snuck in too. Sweet. We are doing Jackbox games, which work similar to how Kahoot work. Shut my door. So. Um, you're going to want to go to, in your web browser, you're going to want to go to jackbox.tv. Okay. Jackbox.tv. Okay. Okay, TV from here, and then four letter. No. All right. <laughs> Olivia, yay. Suhani's all about the alternative names. Did it save? It saved your name from last time too, right? That was you were yay last time too. Yeah, I just saved it, so I don't really have to type it in. Uh, do you want me to start the game? I think Gage is Gage trying to Gage. You're, you're muted. Sorry. So I think Gage is trying to maybe get in still, or his video is frozen. Yeah, I can't quite tell. I need the four letters. Uh, okay, it is X A D as in dog X. Like the end of the alphabet. Okay. Because <laughs> nothing like X ray. X ray, a uh, K, and then kangaroo. I should really know my alphabet. X K. D is in dog. Okay. U as in okay, utility. Hey, there's Big G. Okay. I think we are all in. 
Uh, unless Catalina, let's see, Anamika, we got you in. Catalina, hello again. I see your video box down there, but I don't see video or audio from you. Um, if you are wanting to get in our Jackbox games, let me know. Uh, we'll give you a moment or two more. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. So. All right. Uh, let me know when I should press the button. Okay. I'm going to give you five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, Olivia. Take us away. All right, I'll go ahead and do our narrating for us since uh, we don't have the audio from from Fibbage. Okay. Oh, because we'll get we'll get other audio too. I just said Fibbage three. Yes, yes, it does. So does mine. So it's just doing a bunch of like animation, opening stuff up. Starting round one, everybody, okay? So it's 500 for everybody that you can fool. If you can trick people. You get a thousand points if you pick the right answer, if you find the truth, okay? Isabella, you are choosing our first category. So you should see on your screen, Isabella, a choice of categories. And the category is? Burgers. Burgers. Awesome. So in 2015, the Works Gourmet Burger chain in Canada debuted the PBC Burger, which contains bacon, crispy onion strings, and a patty stuffed with blank. So you're going to fill that in. What was the patty stuffed with at the Works Burger in 2015? As ridiculous, silly, and yet trying, you remember, you're trying to fool everybody else. So what did they stuff in that burger? Let's see. Now I want a burger. That sounds <laughs> good. Seriously, I'm hungry now. All right. Now you get to pick. So you should, you're going to see your selection in just a few minutes. So what did you so now you're going to guess do you want to guess the right answer and not one of the tricks that they have here ooh, ooh that's ooh pop tarts ooh that is tricky wow okay and then you can vote on the ones that you like best that gives other people extra points i don't know why you would even do that if you're an observer watching expo Oh my gosh, nice Isabella, one. you just made 2,000 points for lying with broccoli. Very nice. Tomatoes, good choice. Good choice. I lied with balloons. <laughs> balloons, that's hilarious. Oh my gosh, no one got Reese's peanut butter cups. <clears throat> that, and I love me a good Reese's peanut butter cup. That does not sound delicious. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. That does not sound delicious. I actually delicious. got Reese's where I am right now, so... You should try sticking in a burger sometime. Okay, no, yay. Okay. Be a chocolate burger. In December of 2016, a vending machine was installed in Singapore that strangely only sells blank. Okay, enter your lie now. What did it? I feel like I remember this news headline and I wish I could remember what it was. And now you can go and see strange vending machines just about anywhere. But... Okay, now you get to pick what this strange vending machine was selling. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, good work, whoever tricked me, because I'm pretty sure... I got tricked. Thank you for I, 500 points, Olivia. That was my <laughs> lie. Uh, I appreciate that. Somebody. Oh. I think I tricked you, Rad. Man. No. Suhani got me. Ah. Hair ties. Big G. Yeah. You, you got one there. 
luxury cars for the win. Oh, eh, you guys cleaned up. Wow. Three of you got a thousand points for getting that answer correct. Luxury cars in a vending machine. Wow. Okay. Hey, sounds Singapore. like a good, good vending machine to me. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know that my credit card would cover any of that. All right. I get to pick the category. Let's see. This category. Oh, I mean, how timely is this? Equal rights is our category now. In 2008, Ecuador became the first country to give equal rights to... Oh, my. Who did... Who did Ecuador give equal rights to in 2008? I don't know why. I just feel like freestyling. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why. You can spare us for now. Okay. So now you get to answer what became the first country of equal, equal rights to... Interesting, interesting. Okay, I hope you all have your guesses locked in. Voting for any special ones you liked. Somebody said llamas, Anamika said llamas and got a got 500 out of big G. Domesticated animals. Oh, Olivia lied, 500 points each, very nice. Nature. Is the truth? Huh. Three of us, Olivia and Amika and I, all got lucky with that one. Okay, interesting. Okay, equal rights for nature. I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm gonna have to take that, take that one with me today. <laughs> think about what does that mean for nature and equal rights. How does nature vote? <laughs> Voting a right in Venezuela? Maybe not. All right, we're moving on to round two. So points double, a thousand points if you can lie and uh, um, trick somebody. Two thousand if you get the answers correct. Our our topic is travel. So, as if flying first class wasn't fancy enough already, German airline Lufthansa now offers VIPs a special tray for their blank. So, if it wasn't fancy enough already. German airline offers special tray for their hmm. All right. What could they be? Wow, there are some interesting options here. Um, I know. Uh, I'm not going to read any I'm a special tray for their. Oh, wait. Oh, man. No, I somebody had a really good one in here. I think so. I wish I'd changed mine, but. Can you get me a beef jerky? Eyeglasses. That's nope. No beef jerky here. Sorry. Anamika. Great job. You got two. I'm having my dad. Follow you. Beef jerky. Oh, see, I was I almost went for that one, Olivia. Almost. Checkbook. Ooh, that's a good one. Do you guys even know what a checkbook is? That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. I got lied to. No way. Falcon? What? I am so confused right now. Do you guys understand what just happened? Uh-uh. <laughs> Lufthansa offers falcon. you a special tray for your falcon. I didn't even one. I didn't even know I had a falcon. <laughs> I didn't either. Sorry. Moving right along. This, in 1907, illustra this 1907 illustration from Aust Austria is entitled "Trip to." Okay, so all you have to do is title the um, the the painting. And in case you can't see it, there's like a redheaded somebody on top of like a seahorse with a muzzle and a baby holding on to the bottom of it. Oh, I almost didn't get my, my thing in. It's too busy talking. Okay. This illustration. Oh. Hmm. 
Hmm. This one's tricky. Well, ooh, thank you both for giving nice. me 2,000 points. I'll take that. Underworld is not. Poseidon's Nightmare. That's Trip to Poseidon's Nightmare. That was a big G fly. Wow. Trip to the Aquarium. Anamika, very uh, reasonable. Reasonable. I was thinking about that one. Trip to the Moon. Anamika, you crushed us with that one. Did anyone get this? Trip to a spa. Oh my. Not one person got any points for that. Let me to a spa. That is not a spa I want to go to. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> All right. Currently, Anamika is well in the lead by a couple thousand points. Olivia traveling just behind her. And Olivia, it is your turn to pick a category for us. Surprised I haven't picked a category, the category yet. Category is in 2017, a charity shop in. Swansea, Swansea, Wales, I don't know, had to put up a sign requesting that people stop donating. Ooh, what does the charity not want you to donate in Wales, England? <laughs> what would people be donating that they didn't want anyone? in 2017 so just a couple of years ago three years ago to be exact yep <laughs> used napkins i don't know like uh, that's that. brilliant i don't know um pets <laughs> uh, that's so specific <laughs> I actually hit for it. sets of dishes. <laughs> oh man, use use napkins. That was brilliant. I like that was my favorite guess. I should have voted for for it. Mismatch set of dishes. Olivia's. They only want finalized dishes. Pets. Thank you, thank you, Suhani, for giving me a thousand points. Appreciate that. That'd be Including, weird. Who wrote that? Oh my gosh, that's that's weirdly specific. Big G. So, what? I just dude, randomly clicked on one. Did no one get this one again? Wigs? Isabella guessed wigs. Anamika lied. Oh my gosh. We all got some points, but nobody got. <laughs> you know that's a book, right? As, as the, the, the book, The Da Vinci Code, I assume. Maybe it was the movie. Maybe the DVD of The Da Vinci Code was so highly purchased in Wales. Okay, Anamika's still in the lead with Olivia behind. I am far behind that and on down the line. We are on to the final round of Fibbage. All right, everybody, final round. Things get a little Very weird tense. in the final round. This year, don't forget to join millions of Americans and Brits in celebrating prosperity on May 29th. Ooh, we should have just had this. Also known as put a blank on your blank day. Uh, okay. Keep it clean, people. Keep it clean. Mm. Put a... <clears throat> Put a... Mm. I don't know about this one. This one's hard. Blank on a blank. Put a... Mm. How's the pandemic going for you, Brad? Um, it's a very interesting life experience. So, okay, it's time to choose your answer. Put a blank on your blank day. Wow, you guys, oh my goodness, came up with some good ones already. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ow. Wow. Wow. I don't even know who I just gave points to, but I'm very happy I did. Put a hat on your head day. Mine was boring. Thank you, Isabella, for a little bit of a points there. Coffee on your car and drive. Whoever wrote that, 
Oh my gosh, Gage, that's brilliant. Brilliant. That was big G. That was excellent. Umbrella on your head? No, no. We're working our way through. Did anyone get the truth this time? A shirt on your pet day. <gasps> and Amika. Oh, Olivia's. Oh my goodness. Did anyone get it right? <laughs> Put a pillow on your fridge day. Please tell me that was the truth. That was the truth, Olivia. And Sue. Oh, excellent work. Pillow on your let's fridge. See. Let's see if that changes any of our final standings. Uh, let's see, Isabella following in fourth, Big G down below, me right in the middle, and our big winner is Olivia. Congratulations, congratulations. Good game. Uh, Isabella, you got nine likes for your, uh, for, for your answers. You did an excellent job. I wasn't liking, so I apologize. I should have liked all of your things, but it would tell you. Oh, I almost got Brad. Worst liar was Suhani. We can all remember that. That's good. Most gullible. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Least like nobody liked your answers, Big G, except for me. Uh, excellent. Most in need of a new phone, Olivia. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. So, all right. Let me bounce out of Fibbage here. I gotta close up. Um, let me close this out. Okay, and then we will move into our escape room. Are you guys ready? Yeah. I feel like we just used a lot of your energy up, and now we're going to have you work on an escape room. So, um, again, you may want to be unmuted for this. That way we can talk about the, uh, the problems that are set before us. Um, I did go through this this escape room already so i can Are give a few hints along the way if you need um but i won't give any hints um i'm gonna stand back basically and let you guys kind of work through the work through the escape room okay are there any questions before we dive in mm. no no okay okay we will go ahead and escape so uh this is uh thanks to breakout edu um, Asha, who couldn't be here this week, did tweak it a little bit. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so it should be, I think, now these are Asha. kind of praise Asha, absolutely. Um, I think, I know these are kind of famous last words for you. I think this one's pretty easy. I think you guys can do it. Okay. I believe in you. I believe in you. And therefore, um, uh, I think we should set a short little timer. So um, here is, I'm gonna go ahead and put a timer on my phone just so we can, I can track and see how long it's taking, but I think you guys are gonna like knock it out of the park. Really gonna be simple. Okay, on our marks, get set, go. So the world is filled with amazing books to read cool sculptures of book characters and fantastic book festivals. As a passionate reader, your bucket list is filled with ideas related to books. You have been saving your pennies for years, prioritizing your list of places and events and making detailed plans for the moment when you can set off on your adventure. Get your bucket list and head off on the trip of a lifetime. Are you ready? Okay. So, uh, lock number one, you can see, is a directional lock. Uh, it, it is. It is time for the trip of a lifetime. You've been planning for years, saving your pennies, and now you can finally head to the airport. Don't forget your itinerary so you know where you're going to, or where, where to go, uh, if I could only read. Uh, it's going to be an amazing adventure. So here we have uh, our, our clue. I'm going to make that expand that in just a second here so that you can see it up close. And here's your directional lock. You've got up, down, left, and right. One, two, three, four, five directions you're looking for. Okay, so when you think you have one that you want me to try, and we can try it multiple times, remember, just let me know. I'm gonna open this one up a little bit bigger. So let me know if you need me to zoom in any more on things, or if you have things uh, that you, again, combinations you'd like me to try. 
Okay. Ready, go. So is the lock supposed to be the directions to get to the places? Right up left and then <laughs> down for the lock. Okay. So I'm jumping back over. So you want me to try what combination? Right, up. Right, up. Down, or? Down. Now I forget. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, I should have mentioned uh, if anyone wants to have a paper and piece and pencil or pen next to you, that is perfectly acceptable. Googling I say uh, right, up, down, is left, also right. acceptable. And why are you saying that? I was looking at the clues. That is not it. Well, I, I'm saying like maybe walk your walk walk your teammates through what it is, how it is that you're arriving at that conclusion. I'm going to. So Washington D.C. to Egypt is right. Then Egypt to Denmark is up. Hmm. Denmark to Ireland is left. Ireland to uh whatever that is, I can't pronounce that. Um, anyone? Anyone? Hmm. So Ireland to below down and then left. Right up left down left. All right, you want me to try that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give it to me one more time. Right. Up. Left. Down, left. Right, up, left, down, left. Oh, it looks like you've done it. Very nice, very nice. Let me expand back out here Sweet. so we can see. There we go. Get this way. Nice. Okay. Lock two is a co is a color combination lock. Check mm. out the photos from my trip. One, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle statue. Two, Lewis Carroll statue. Three, J. M. Barry statue. Four. Michael Bond statue. And we are looking for a four color combination. I'll expand this into a new window. And again, if you need me to go back to anything, show you anything differently, let me know. Okay. Try black, yellow, red, blue. Okay, you want to walk us through why? Uh, that's Black, the order. yellow, red, blue? Yeah. Oh, okay. The order of the pictures there? Mm -hmm. Black, yellow, red, blue, you said? Mm 
That is not unfortunate. Try again. Can I see the order of the people, like the um the names? Yes. The statues. Okay. So I'll read them again if you'd like, or if you can. Number one is Sir Arthur Conan Doyle statue. Number two is Lewis Carroll statue. Number three is J.M. Barry statue. And number four is Michael Thorne statue. Ooh, I have an idea of what it might be. Okay, what is your idea? It'd be black, It'd be red, red, blue, yellow. Okay. Black, red, blue, yellow. And you think that'd be... Why? Looking at the pictures, I can... I've been to some of these places, so... I think it might be right. Black, red, blue, yellow. That is not it. Well, we should probably figure out which statue is which. Yeah. Um, can you try black, um, blue, then um, red and yellow? Black, blue, red, sure. yellow. Do you want to tell us the logic behind that? Yeah, I like. I just black, know blue, red, statue yellow. correlates with which um, name and that in in the same order as the names are. And how do they correlate? Um, like I kind of Googled it and I tried to match the statue together. Okay. So what was it again? Black? Uh, blue? I think it was black, blue. Um, it was either, yeah, I think red, yellow. Or... Red, yellow. Okay. Red. Sweet. Boom. We are on to the next one. Very good. Very good. I'll just say, yeah, this is Sherlock Holmes, which was written by uh, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Alice in Wonderland was by Carol, uh, Peter Pan was Barry, and then I believe this is Paddington Bear is our last one by Milton. So, okay, on to our next one. It's going to be a uh, letter lock, so a word most likely or a combination of letters. Finally, my ticket has arrived for my trip to see one of the many famous sculptures related to children's books. The author is one of my favorites. I can't wait to find the statue in the park. To make this visit even more special, I will bring copies of the book with me to hand out to children that I see. I hope they will enjoy reading the wonderful work of this author and viewing his amazing picture. I wonder if they will recognize their city in his pictures. This will be a great bucket list trip. So here's a map and some notes. I'll make, I'll enlarge those in just a second. You're looking here at the alphabet and you're looking for a uh, letter combination that is, I'm expanding here so you can see a little bit better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letters long. And let me and this into a new window. There you go. I'm so ready for my beef jerky to be here already. <laughs> <laughs> Just be honest. You need a little, do you need some brain food to, uh, that's what beef jerky, it'll help feed your brain so that you can yeah, I solve need it. puzzles here. That and an energy drink. All right. Mm. This one was a little tricky for me, I must say. I had to do I had to do a little bit of googling, a little bit of looking around on the internet to to try and figure out what this was, where it was. I'm having to google it also. Talk amongst yourselves. So 
I'm going to jump right back over to the clue for just a second. Look up here. So this is your third lock. You're about halfway through once you solve this. Um, and just so you know, you're at about you're at 12 minutes right now. So you just hit the 12 minute mark. You're doing pretty well. Anyone have any thoughts or ideas about what they're seeing and what they uh, might be looking for? I have no idea. <laughs> you guys have any um, how about where is this, first of all? Can anyone tell by the map what, uh, Boston, what area this is? There you go. I Isabel's can't. got Boston. That's a good start, Boston. I found Boston, but I'm still thinking. Yeah, I'm it's read the Boston. Okay. Um, you want me I to Googled read the, clue the other again? monument? Yeah, read the okay. clue again. Okay, the clue is finally, my ticket has arrived for my trip to see one of my one of the many famous sculptures related to children's books. The author is one of my favorites. I can't wait to find the statue in the park. To make this visit even more special, I will bring copies of the book with me to hand out to children that I see. I hope they will enjoy reading the wonderful work of this author and viewing his amazing pictures. I wonder if they will recognize their city in his pictures. This will be a great bucket list trip. Okay. Mm. I think Brad knows what the combination is. Well, I do. I had to go through the puzzles just to solve them and be able to give you any hints should you need them. But I think you guys have everything you need right there. Maybe a little talk amongst yourselves. Maybe just the things you're thinking about will help jog ideas in each other's brains. Like, what are you looking up? What are you Googling? What do you see on the map? What's, what surprises you? Because I got to say, I went down. I went down a, a couple of wrong paths before I, um, before I got it figured out. Well, make way for ducklings is uh, mm. a children's picture book, so I'm assuming that's a sculpture. Okay. So make way for ducklings. You see the monument over here, and you found out that is a picture book. Mm-hmm. Okay. And remember, you are trying to come up with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine letter word. Why don't we try Brad? <laughs> Probably because that's only four letters. Yeah, we put a <laughs> bunch of D's. B R A D D D D D D D. I will guarantee it is not my name. I have nothing uh, to do with uh, try Boston ducklings. or a book. Ducklings? Okay, let's try that. D-U-C-K-L-I-N-G-S. That's not it. You are, you are on some kind of, I mean, I feel like you're circling it. You guys probably are getting pretty close. Isn't breakout EDU free? Um, not always. They do have some samples and things, and there's some things that they offer for free. They were doing a live everyday digital thing like this that you could win prizes. It was pretty awesome. But currently, they are not. I mean, is it free to do what we're doing, like, on the escape rooms? We, the library, has a subscription for Breakout EDU. Because when we do our events in person, it's the same we do. Um, we use their uh, 
we use a lot of the the escape out escape room things that they have created. I wish we could be at the library doing this. Um, I I looked up um, Ether Monument, and it said it's also called the Good S Samaritan. Mm -hmm. So, and Samaritan is nine letters. So you want me to try Samaritan? Do you want me to try Samaritan? Yes. Oh, okay. sorry, I didn't see your head nodding. I waiting to hear you. Uh, do you want to spell it for me? S-A-M-A-R-I-T-A-N. That does not look like that is it. Good try. Does that have anything to do with the rest of the clue? Remember your clue and the information you've gathered so far. Uh, try the author's name. Okay. I think that's... And what is the author's name? M C C L O S P E Y. It looks like you have solved it. Very good. That's right. The author of uh, what was the name of the book? Make way for ducklings. Make way for ducklings. That's right. That was an award-winning book. Uh, obviously, the author was from Boston, and so um, they had put that up in the park to honor them. Okay, we are on to our fourth and second to last lock. Your clue is, finally, getting ready to head out to see all things Shakespeare. Can't wait to visit his house and Hathaway's house and the theater. It's going to be an expensive day. And you are looking for number lock. Select the numbers that will open the lock. One, two, three, four, five numbers. Okay. Again, getting out to head, see all shake, things Shakespeare. Can't wait to visit his house and Hathaway's house and the theater. It's going to be an expensive day. I'm going to open that up. A window for you. I'll zoom in a little bit too so that you can. It's going to be an expensive day for Brad's credit cards. All right. Hmm. Bring these in. Add so the numbers see. together. Up and close. Okay, I know what the numbers are equal. Cool. Hmm. How many locks do we have left, Brad? Two? Three? Yep. This one and one more. Okay. Hmm. So if we add the numbers together, I would do that, but I am bad at math. <laughs> I already added them together. Including the total on the receipt? No, I didn't do the total on the receipt. I just did the pictures. Ah. Uh, well, what's the total? Uh, hold on. I'm pulling it back up. We're doing it right now. Yeah. 
What, how are you guys doing? What are you thinking out there in the quiet world? Okay, so for both of the I see very I see very serious faces from both Suhani and Anamika. You look like you're thinking very hard, but I don't hear you uh, passing that along. So, I'm sorry, Gage. What was that that you said? For the pictures, it's fifty-one dollars and nine cents. Okay. Add two ten. Add two ten. Yeah. Okay. Now we're up to two hundred sixty-one. Oh nine. Just let me know what you guys want me to do. Uh, could you add in the total of that number? The 26109. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. 522.18. Oh, I mean, make the first number the lock. Oh, you want me to? You want me to enter the, a number? Yeah. Okay. The sum of over. all the. Uh, what was the number gauge? Two hundred and sixty-one oh nine. Two sixty-one oh nine. Yes, sir. It I think does it's not actually look like that is the correct one. I think the sum is actually two hundred and sixty one um, and thirty nine cents. Okay, how much? What? I'm sorry. So tell me the number you'd like me to try. Two hundred and sixty one. Two sixty one. Thirty nine, like that. Okay. See if that was it. Oh, it looks like that did the trick. Yay. We are on to our next one. Yep, you added them all up. And that's what you got. Okay. Ooh, we got a newspaper. Just booked another trip. What an amazing experience to be at the winter conference when the winner is announced. Now you are looking for a letter combination that will open the lock. It is one, two, three, four, five, six seven letters long seven letters long i'm gonna bring that in and we will open up our clue okay so what an amazing experience to be at the winter conference when the winner is announced here we go hmm This one's tough. This one requires a little bit of knowledge about the library world, but I think several of you here probably have that information that you need. And if not, there's plenty of clues right in front of you that you can uh, start learning about in order to find the answer. Why is your You're thing say library minutes. conference room? Uh, oh, because that is the that's the host of the meeting. It's just my gen my generic computer versus my face, which is on an iPad. Oh. Because I don't have a I don't have a uh, computer with a uh, web camera and microphone of its own. That's all. Okay, so what do you guys see? What are you thinking? Talk amongst yourselves. Share some ideas. I'm gonna jump back over to the clue real quick so you can read again for yourself. And remember you're looking for a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letter word. library 
Library. Okay, we can try that. Oop. My fingers type faster than the... <laughs> B R A R. It is not library. That is a good guess. What an amazing experience to be at the winter conference when the library when the winner is announced. I'm lost. Can anyone help Olivia be less lost? I'm so lost on this one. Anyone have ideas? Suhani and Amika? I'm so anything lost on this thinking? one. Does someone want to read the to-do list? And the reading list. Okay. To do hotel reservation, check on airline ticket, make dinner reservations, read my favorite winners from previous years. Okay. There's that word again. Winners. Hmm. Anyone? Have you figured anything Should out yet, Olivia? Down? No. I feel like I'm getting close, but a little off at the same time. I don't know what the reading list is there for. Hmm. Wonder why. Hey, Google. Who is the author of the grade book? Or just don't listen to me. Simple as that. Because <laughs> I have one of them little Google Home minis, but sometimes it doesn't listen to me. Uh, I'm looking at the book names right now, too, for the author. Which ones have you done, Olivia? Uh, everything but The Giver. Which I'll I'm do The Giver. Now. Uh, none of the names are seven letters, unless I'm just bad at counting. <laughs> No, the one I'm. S no, this one's eight. Never mind. There's Reynolds. I have no idea yeah. on this one. Isabella, do you have any thoughts to contribute? Anything that you see? No. Catalina, can you hear me? Mm. Duhani and Amika, you guys are both muted, so we can't hear you going, uh, <laughs> but I can see you thinking. I thought Suhani might be on to something when she grabbed her face earlier. Like, mm, okay, wait, maybe. Give us a hint, Brad. Well, you have that reading list. And it's special reading list. And there's a special word that's both in the clue in front of you and in the setup clue, the story part. 
Mm. One news. Brad, you just tell us the answer. Oh, no, no, no. Is it winners? That is not as fun. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you the answer. I'm just... I'm trying not to make it too easy either. I want you, your brains are going to click in here any minute. And you're going to go, oh, there it is right in front of me. I think it might be winners. Do you like, we could try it. Let's see. Let's see. It is not the word winners. Hmm. But I would keep thinking about your reading list and about winners. And the American Library Association to announce award winners. I was thinking it might be one on the reading list, but I doubt it. Hmm. Um, it says the giver got a uh, um. A Newbery Medal. And Newbery is seven letters. Okay. Would you like me to try Newbery? Sure. New Berry. Oh. It's one R. It it's one oh. <laughs> I knew that. Because you Yay! did it. Congratulations. You figured it out. All of those books were former award winners of the Newberry Award, which is given out every year at the American Library Association um, at, at one of their uh, big things. <laughs> Blanking on the word conferences each year. So congratulations, you did it, you broke out. It took you only 34 minutes and 50 seconds. You were under, you were under 35 minutes. So I'm very impressed you didn't Excellent, excellent job. So. That's not bad. Well, that is not bad at all. If we had given you a 45 minute window, you're well under it. If we'd given you a 30 minute window, because I think you guys are super smart, you've been a little over, but you know, if we'd give you a 35 minute window, perfect. Dead on, you did it. So, very cool. So, other than that, how's everyone's summer going so far? Pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. Good. That that's good. That sounds very school. very good. That's right, Olivia. You're doing school stuff over the summer. Ages building things, making music. Some of you are camping, but you're all hopefully staying safe and healthy. Mm-hmm. Good. Great. Well, the library is here for you. As you know, you can put items on hold. And when I say items, I mean books, DVDs. You can even, the library of things is even available. So you can put items on hold. uh, And then right now we are open during certain limited hours to come in and pick up those holds. So you have to have them on hold hold ahead of time. You can't just come in and uh, browse and touch all the shelves and get your germs all over those. Um, Because those are sitting there, nobody's touched them, so they're they're fine. Um, But we'll get those holds uh, on the hold shelf for you, and then you can come pick those up. So we do have lots of resources available, as well as uh, as I showed you earlier, a ton of books, um, audio books and books uh, online. 
through Cloud Library and um, through the app Libby. Both of those apps are great apps. And if you have a Clackamas County Library card, they get you into a ton of different stuff. So that can um, hopefully fill a bit of your boredom time with you reading and doing and learning whatever you want to do. So, is there and, a limited amount of fines that you have to have to check out a audiobook? Um, that's, I don't know how that interacts with the digital with the digital library. That's a good question. I do think that I heard they bumped the current amount of fines way up um, so that more people could have access during this time. So if, um, if one had higher fines, your library card may not be locked like it was before. Because it used to lock after $20. I'd have to double check my information, but I believe it's up to like $125 now. So, um, so that more people can get access to those things. So, um, yeah, so check those things out. If you have any questions, you know, you can um, email me, Clark at WilsonvilleLibrary.org or teens at WilsonvilleLibrary.org. Um, you can go to the website and get our phone number off there as well and call and leave messages. We are here to connect you guys with whatever resources you need right now. Okay. Um, and that includes a teen event uh, each week through the month of July, the same time in the same place. So save those Zoom numbers. Uh, we'll keep using the same one unless we have a problem with it at some point and we have to renew and we'll definitely get those um, out through our channels. So um, we're trying to post them for adults on Facebook and people on Instagram and um, Twitter and other places so that y'all can join us for our teen events each week. So we'll be back here Tuesday at two each week through the end of July. Next week, next week, our theme will be centered around the great city of San Francisco. Um, it's one of the, one of, not the, but one of the most densely populated um, urban areas in the world. So per square foot, like people just crammed together. Um, and that makes it a really unique city if you haven't visited before. Um, and very multicultural. It's pretty amazing. So um, I hope that you guys will join us for that. I had a great time uh, playing these games and doing these things with you guys today. So I hope to see you guys again next Tuesday at 2. All right. Cool? Mm -hmm. Cool. Have yeah. a good week, Take care guys. of yourselves. What's that? Say that again, Olivia. Uh, I said have a good week, guys. Thank you guys so much. Yes, we will see you again next week. Take care of yourselves. Be good to yourselves, okay? All right. All right. Bye, everybody.